I'm here with the Hunter's deck build uh, with the Watts in it. So I only have the one Thunder Seahorse, so I'm playing one. Uh, this card is really good. You don't really need to play more than three, one because you got Sys Hunter to recycle. So you just uh, search and you dump, grab what, like two Sys Hunters, then you grab it back to hand, get back in end phase, and then do it again. And you have another Sys Hunter to do it next turn, so you can just set up. Uh, I play the one honest for obvious reasons. Uh, two TKR, just because TKR is a really good card in like every format. That's why I went down to two. The uh, tuners. This card's really good because uh, cards like Maw Hunter and Paw Hunter, you can go first turn Synchro 8. Like, you can go first turn Stardust, like set 3 or something stupid. Uh, most decks won't get over 3,500 Stardust because when you use this, when it leaves a monster card zone, you can pay 500 life points to equip it to a card and it gains down as attack during the damage step. So, yeah, it's really, really good. Um, then, since I only have one, uh, the one Thunder Seahorse, I play Triple Swiss Hunter because she just keeps recycling my Thunder Seahorse. Well, it, it's a slower, I guess, because it takes longer to set up, but. Like I said, I only have one Thunder Seahorse. So next is the Triple Maw Hunter. Obvious for Hunters because you just spam rank, four, rank fours or you can Synchro 8 with the Violons. Uh, the Triple Paw Hunters. Exact same effect on Maw Hunter. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous. but it's, I don't know why the dad's weaker than the mom. She's like 13 to 14. Uh... Next, I play two Wat Cobra. Wat Cobra just searches out my giraffes because giraffes are really broken. Uh, I'll just like attack with the giraffe and like heavy storm. They can no response or something like that. Or, like a dark hole, just can't do anything. So yeah, those are the Watts. That's it. I'm thinking about debating whether to play Wat Pheasant just because the um, Xyz hate, but I didn't do it. So I'm playing the one magic cylinder. <laughs> Cause uh, I can't find my one messenger, my two messenger piece right now. And then playing two T roar to, for the setups because this takes way too long to set up. Like I said, two compulse, compulse is amazing, amazing in this format. It just says fuck you to XEs, fuck you to everything, pretty much. Play two Starlight Road. The reason why I play two is because like the deck's really really trap heavy. Well, my build is at least. Like, I play like 20 traps, so it's kind of ridiculous, but yeah, I play two Star of the Road. Uh, two Torrential. Torrential's like a basic in all decks, pretty much. So, yeah, not going to go over those. Two Deepers. Two Fiend's Chain. Uh, I was debating whether or not to do Fiend's Chain over Veilers, but uh, I just didn't want to run the Veilers because I just wanted to draw more traps, I guess. Uh, double bottomless. Bottomless is a really good card. Uh, obvious reasons. I play two MSTs. Honestly, I don't think MST is good in this format. I might take them out last minute and put something else in, but I'm not sure. Maybe side them. Maybe. Uh, Heavy Storm, Dark Hole, and Monster Reborn. Uh, and also Pot of Everest because I'm uh, monster heavy as well. So to the side deck, uh, to get it's really a side deck like last minute kind of thing I guess. But yeah, play one penguin soldier. <laughs> penguin soldier is really 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 good this format. Like it's ridiculous. Like Ophion, say fuck you, uh, anything really. Draco sack. Yeah, fuck Draco sack. I say eat a dick to Draco sack. And then snowman eaters. Snowman. I was actually debating rather than not to put like one snowman and two penguin soldiers because penguin soldiers is just really fucking broke. But I'm just gonna play two snowmen. Uh, I play two macro. The deck really can just like side up the Sith Hunters and play removal just in case so something's really fucking annoying like Dark Worlds. Fuck Dark Worlds. Everybody hates Dark Worlds. Uh, I play two summon limit. This card says fuck you to everything in this format. They'll go rabbit and like get their first rabbit, that's their first summon. Then their second summon is their two vanillas, and then I just summon summon limit and then they die at end phase. So What's the actual wording of the card? Oh, neither player can summon more than two mo two times per turn. Okay. Um 
One Eradicator, because I play a trolley card in my extra deck. It's because I don't want to lose to Chain Burn. <laughs> uh, to my drain. For again, fuck E Dragons. The deck's fucking annoying. Even though I'm going to be playing it probably. Uh, two Shadow Mirrors, because again, with Dark Worlds. And Insectors. I hate them both. And Insectors, I really have a bad matchup against. Because they just pop up my shit. And three deep uh, dimensional fissure because again I can play removal and annoying crap like Dark Worlds. To the extra deck. This is the trolley card I use with the Eradicator. It's pretty much I don't take any effect damage because I don't really don't have anything else against Chain Burn. And I'm main decking it my extra just because last time I went to regionals. I went against three chain burn, got smashed by all of them, so it was really, really annoying. And the Eradicator's just there for prophecies, because I fucking hate prophecies. <laughs> Who doesn't? Uh, anyways, so that's that card. And I play this card. I'm not even going to try to pronounce its name. I keep getting it wrong. I got it wrong all day. But anyways, it's pretty much a, it's pretty much a 36 beat sick with piercing. So if I want to push for games, like against... Uh, uh, E-Dragons, they'll get their two tokens, and then I'm, like, fine with that. Then I summon this, I get the Violent Prism, uh, Prism play, put it at 36 during the damage step, and I'll just tack their token for game, so it's just piercing for 36, pretty much. I play two Stardust. I play two Starlight Road, uh, but I can also Synchro for it, just in case I don't get the Starlight Roads. So, Stardust is really good. I play the one Crimson Blader. For like six hams, I don't want to deal with their shit. Like they'll probably just like set a monster and, and like bluff and not having an elder or some shit. I'll tack into it with this. I don't even know. Just good against six ham in general and scrap dragon. Obvious reason. Photon popper operative. Um, I don't see it played a lot, but I like it. I put it in like every single extra deck that can make rank four. Uh, just for f fucking annoying cards like Spirit Reaper and Marshmallow and stupid cards like that. Uh, Shockmaster, obvious reasons. This deck can get this card out like two times per turn. Uh, Omega. Because Omegas, if they have a lot of back row, I'm not going to go into something like uh, Levolvel Chain or anything that really is like Photon Pop or like Polydynamo. I'll just go into this. Just so to like stall out the back row. Revolve chain. Uh, chain's really good right now because I only have one Thunder Seahorse and it can just put Thunder Seahorse on top deck. Uh, and if it stays alive another turn, like I'll put like Honest on top deck. So yeah, and I, this is like the MVP pretty much in this side deck. Um, one Polydynamo. Oh, I would go to two, but I don't have a second one right now, so just dealing with one right now. Two Gaga uh, Cowboy. Two is a little much, I guess. I guess one of them should be out for a Polydynamo. But, don't like I said, I don't have one right now. And then Black Ship, of course, because Black Ship is amazing. And then I got Maestro. Just in case I'm scared if they have Honest or something, I'll just book a Moon it. Or if they have something with really high attack below defense, I can get over it. Well, that's about it with the Hunter's deck profile. So we're going to regionals tomorrow. Uh, what do you expect to see? You excited a lot for dragons, it looked like. Yeah, um, like I said, the only thing I got against dragons really is like summon limit because they only like summon twice mm -hmm. and then they couldn't really do anything. They couldn't overlay with it and then they get bounced back to hand at my end phase. So that's like all about I got I have against it. And like they have to waste a blaster pop against it, I guess. Mm -hmm. Um... I'd probably slide in those mind drains and probably macro too. So just in case they try to like, so they don't have anything from graveyard to uh, activate, and I have mind drain, so they can't activate hand effects. Uh, that's what I do against E dragons. The real deck I don't really go against is prophecies, because I really don't have anything against prophecies. Like I got two would by them twice today at locals. Not the funnest thing. So, yeah. yeah, fuck prophecies. Okay, well, 
We are going to regionals tomorrow, so I'd like to wish you good luck and thank you for your deck profile. I'm a big fan of Hunters. Uh, this mm -hmm. is Matt from Team Sword and Shield. And like, comment, and su subscribe. I was doing so well to right there. <laughs> um, wish us luck. Thank you.